In this video, we'll look at whether pentanol, this is one pentanol, C5H11OH, whether this molecule is polar or nonpolar. And the answer to our question here, it is a polar molecule. So let's see why. So we have our one pentanol here, and we don't have the hydrogens drawn in. Let's draw this in so you can see that. But most often we don't write the carbons, we do it like this. And you can see that we have our one, two, three, four, five carbons. On this first carbon here, we have our OH. That's why it's called pentanol, because this is an alcohol. So it's a polar molecule because if we look at this structure here, the oxygen is more electronegative than the hydrogen or the other carbon there. That means the bond here between the oxygen and the carbon and the oxygen and the hydrogen, the electrons won't be shared equally there. They'll spend more time with the oxygen. That means the oxygen will be negative and the hydrogen that'll be positive. Let's take a look at that. So here's our pentanol molecule over here. And let's look at the surface of the molecule. We can see the red, that's negative, the blue is positive. So you see that this oxygen right here, that has the red around it. That's because it's more negative. The electrons are spending more time around this oxygen. And the blue, that's where that hydrogen is, and some down into the molecule here, that's going to be positive. So this is a polar molecule since we have poles. If we look at the dipole, the overall dipole for the molecule, we can see that it kind of heads in the direction of the oxygen there. So that's our overall dipole for the molecule. So pentanol, one pentanol, that's a polar molecule. We should note that we end up with this molecular geometry here for the molecule because each carbon is sp3 hybridized. That means the molecular geometry for each carbon, that's tetrahedral, and that'll give us that bond angle of 109.5 between the carbons. That's what gives it that kind of zigzag look. So in answer to our question, one pentanol is a polar molecule. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.